Welcome to the Movacon HMI Editor Basics self-guided video tutorial series. In this first video, I will explain what this training course is about and how it works. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier. First, I'll show the working HMI screens you'll make. Then I'll explain how you'll use our equipment and software to complete this self-guided training course. I'll review the prerequisites and training materials you'll need as shown in the class description. And finally, I'll overview the itinerary in just a little more detail and talk about how the certification testing works. In this training, we'll work on two projects. The first is a super simple project, the Quick Start project. The purpose is simply to understand how to get up and running quickly. It's just one button, one light, and some numeric data communicating between the HMI and the controller hardware. But the majority of the course is dedicated to building the main project. This also communicates to the controller. The main project is a fully functioning HMI for a motion control system. It has several pages here and interacts with the pre-programmed controller. I'll bring up the controller and demo on camera here for a quick overview. First I'll log on to see some setup functions in this setup screen. Reboot and write parameters, clear alarms, monitor the IP address and other things. You can jog the motors in the jog screen. Just turn the servos on here in the control panel and you'll jog motor X. There's different tabs for the other axes like Y and Z. See that? In the auto screen, you can start a move sequence. See the motors uh, moving one by one. And there's a little animation there showing what's happening. If you cause an alarm, there's the alarm screen to troubleshoot, looking at the history, acknowledge and reset the alarm. And in the recipe screen, you can save and load recipes to change the move sequence. Here's a faster version of that same move sequence. You can see the motors here are moving a lot faster than before. So if building an HMI like this looks like something you'd like to learn how to do, stay tuned. We'll give you access to our hardware using the remote demo system provided by CKMIA, like the one I'm using right now. In fact, connecting to the remote demo is the next video in the series. You'll have control of a camera just like I'm using to see the controller and motors. And when necessary, you can also upload your HMI project to the physical HMI device. You will be able to use the HMI hardware remotely without physically touching it through the VNC viewer software installed on your PC. Communication between your PC and the HMI occurs over the Sikamia link, and it is important to have a second monitor so that you can use your software on one screen while viewing the video and the training materials on the other. If you already have an MP3300 IEC and a 7-inch smart panel HMI, and you know your way around MotionWorks IEC, you could also complete this training on your own hardware. In fact, you could do most of this training with nothing but a local MP3300 IEC controller and just switch the hardware mode for each servo in hardware configuration. There are a number of software applications to install on your Windows PC. There's the remote IO interface, which you need to turn the demo power on and off. That's about all. You'll also need the MPIEC web user interface, which runs in a modern web browser. However, you'll need an older web browser, Internet Explorer, in order to use the IP cameras. You saw VNC Viewer, which lets you operate the HMI hardware. This is a free utility at realvnc.com. On a couple occasions, you will need to open the provided MotionWorks IEC project. You can get MotionWorks IEC software at www.yaskawa.com slash IECSW and it runs for 30 days before you have to purchase a license. Naturally, there's the Yaskawa HMI editor called Movacon. You can find that at www.yaskawa.com slash HMI to download the software. The free version is usable, but with frequent reminder screens, which can be removed by purchasing the quite affordable license. And finally, the Sikamia link manager, which gives you a virtual Ethernet interface for your communications link to the remote demo. You'll get information to install Link Manager when you request access to the system. The training format follows this general flow for each section of the training. 
Each section is a separate video. First, I present and demonstrate the new concepts and the expected outcome of the HMI. I just want you to get a general idea of what has to be done and how to go about doing it. Then you'll follow the instructions in the mini lab document. This is basically a step-by-step -step instruction manual you can follow to get the job done. In the final part of each video, I'll demonstrate how I completed the mini lab and point out any helpful details when I can. If you get stuck, please don't get frustrated. You can send an email to training and we will get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, just move on to the next section. Your question may be answered there also. Apart from this video, there are two prerequisites for the training, and they can both be found by going to www.yaskawa.com slash HMI. First, please read a little bit to become familiar with our HMI products. Just click on one of them, and you'll see under the overview the features and specifications for each product line. In-depth knowledge of our HMI product line is not covered in this course, and having a basic level will help you succeed. Second, please go to support and training e-learning curriculum and watch the Smart Panel HMI quick start video. In the first mini lab, you will implement the project shown in the video, so it will help if you have a general idea of the steps involved. And finally, it's recommended but not absolutely necessary to take the basic level IEC self-guided training courses first if you can. There are just a few times when you'll have to use MotionWorks IEC or the web UI in this training, and I will walk you closely through those steps, but these training classes definitely will help. The training materials can be downloaded from www.yaskawa.com slash self-guided. These include a PowerPoint presentation covering the introductions for each section. You'll also find the Minilab PDF documents, which are your instructions to complete the training exercises. Remember, you will have to prepare the MPIEC controller, and for that we provide a project archive. The actual MPIEC project files must also be opened briefly when setting up communications and are available for reference. Now I'll present the training itinerary. Each item represents a separate video. It usually takes between two and three days of focused training to complete all of these, so please set aside enough time. This video is the introduction, and next up will be the remote demo connection. I'll ask you to follow along with me on the Quick Start Mini Lab project so that you can get used to how these mini labs work. Then I'll show you more details of a working version of the main project so you get an idea where this is all going. The first step on that main project will be to establish communications. Then lay out the project screens before completing the different screens such as navigation bar, control panel, setup, jog zero, auto, recipe, the alarm screen, and user management. I do want to give you some tips on project management, editing, and symbols along the way, but these topics do not include a mini lab. The final video is an example of what to show for the certification test. The certification test will work like this. Once your project is finished, upload it to the Smart Panel HMI located here at Yaskawa headquarters. Download that certification test checklist and verify that everything works on your own using VNC Viewer. At that point, you can email training that you are ready, and we'll set up a meeting where you can demonstrate the functionality and receive official credit for the training. I have more details and example of this in the final video of the training series. Thank you for your attention, and please reach out to training at yaskawa.com with any questions. Thank you for watching this video, and please go to www.yaskawa.com slash HMI for more information on Yaskawa's HMI products and MoveCon HMI Editor.